Welcome back to another episode of Bushcraft North of 60. I'm going to make it quick because my phone barely has enough room to store video anymore, let alone battery. So there's the snow machine set up. It's the new bag that I got plus the little extensions. I managed to adapt my gun mount for my old Scandic to it. And look at this. Nice new little skimmer. This is a zillion times better than that hard plastic piece of junk that I did have. So... Yeah, this trip I've got my uh, regular duffel with all like my pots and pans and stuff in it. I bought a cot on sale yesterday. Call me cheap, uh, sell out if you want, but uh, I want to get the fire going here and burn the stove in a bit. And of course the action packer full of all the other goodies. Got my Altai Hawk skis, which uh, I gotta tell you, Altai went pretty good on me there. I had one binding break at minus 44, and they don't even make the bindings. It's made by another company, the Universal Bindings that you can get on them. So uh, I was expecting to buy a strap and when I got a hold of them, uh, they said, what's your address? Don't worry about it. And they sent me a whole piece of the binding, not just the strap, but the whole section for it. And there's the tent. Yes, it doesn't look the best. There's things I'd do different next time, but that's all right. This trip, I'm just getting the stove geared up, putting the cot in it, uh, getting my tarp squared up and tensioned out nice. And then maybe I'll come back tomorrow and spend the night. There's rabbit tracks out here, so. Here's my little lake. Nobody else is on this one. It's a nice spot. I have a good view, but no one has a good view of this, thankfully. Works out good. My little coronavirus getaway. If the world gets too crazy, I can come back here and just wait it out. All right, so real quick before the battery dies, but what I did was built these pieces on the front. In the back, I just had one piece going across the back. You don't need to walk through it. and it makes it a little more stable and strong. But now I've got... A square top tent. The tarp looks kind of crummy still, but that's alright, I'll fix that up. Yeah, nice little spot. Well guys, here's the inside of the tent. Stove's been rip roaring all day. It's kind of hard to see it, I guess, from the inside. But I've pretty much got her taut now. The corners are giving me a little bit of woe, but I think... It's actually because my ridge line could be a little bit higher now, but it's too late for that because the frame is all tightened up now, so that's all right. I can live with it. It's so nice to have your gear actually dry out. I'm not used to that. Oh, well, I haven't even got out of town yet. I thought I saw a couple wolves at first, so there's one critter right there and one in behind it. Oh, there he is over there. I think they're actually coyotes. So that's interesting. We'll see how my trip goes. Maybe I'll get some uh, wolf action while I'm out there though. Well, you definitely don't need a chainsaw if you have a silky. The rumors are true. This is the Big Boy 2000 Professional. Here's my tree I just knocked down for firewood. I'd say it's probably about, oh, I don't know, seven or eight inches across. Didn't take long at all. Cut a little notch here. My hinge wood I left a little thicker on this side because my snowmobile is on this side. So put her down there in the middle. I already made a little trail here in the powder so I can get the machine in. I'll get this limbed and bucked. Get that back to the camp and that'll do me for quite a while I think. Well, water's on the boil. I already took some out of there for my supper. I got my smaller boots, my hunting boots warming up. They're the only ones that fit in my bindings on my skis. So I probably won't poke around too much tonight. I got some work to do. I got lots more firewood to bank up and a few other things but I think tomorrow I am going to take the skis and go investigate a little bit. So uh, behind the tent here I guess that would be west of us. Uh, looks like it's about a kilometer to one of the main trails that's up here that I'm going to try push through. I can get in here with my snowmobile in the winter, ski, uh, summertime I could definitely take my boat or my canoe in here. Overland I could definitely hike in but if I get an ATV or maybe a dual sport motorcycle. Anyways it'd be nice to be able to come in from an established trail already and it's so close and on Google Earth it looks like there was something years ago so we'll see. But here's my bed. My nice new cot that I just bought. I've got my uh, I call it my Ducks Unlimited bag but actually it might be Ducks Unlimited. Or maybe just ducks. 
Makes me feel like when you're a little kid and you get like Spider-Man blankets and stuff. Got a wool blanket on top just to protect it while I'm sitting around here. But I don't have a lot of storage room yet, so I'm definitely going to have to invest in... Uh, I see invest. I might even have some already, some shelving. Maybe some over here so I can pile some stuff up. Or maybe a table on that side and some shelving here. We shall see. But I'm going to get some grub into me. Alright guys. First night back at the tent, so I'm cutting up a bunch of firewood while I get some water on the boil for supper. And down there, you can probably hear that squirrel. Uh, it looked like a hawk just went down after him. Didn't get him though, but he's kind of upset about it. So that's kind of cool. Uh, some of my bird friends in Yellowknife would probably have a better idea what that was. Uh, yeah, kind of brownish red color, had some... Almost like the same coloring as a grouse, but definitely not the same body shape or flight style. But, uh, got myself a new toy here. Got myself a Silky Big Boy Professional 2000. They finally started selling these in Yellowknife. Overlander Sports has them, so what a difference that makes. I was cutting all these poles here yesterday on the tent. Super quick and easy with that. Bucking up some firewood. Doesn't take any time at all, so I'm going to try to get a bunch of it. I've got... Those three bags left. Those compressed blocks burn surprisingly good in a stove. Thought I'd try that for a lark. And then the rest of it is going to be up to me. So I might go snag another tree or two here and see how supper comes along. And then we've got the long night. So definitely want to make sure I got enough wood for that. Even though I got a good bag. It's nice to be cozy. And then we got a raven. Well, it is the morning of day two here. So you got a bit of firewood left still. Got my bed made again, although don't mind the, uh, the mess here. Still organizing things. I think I'm going to put some shelving over here, but in the meantime, there's that. I broke down cooked in here. So I got a pretty good feeling I'm not going to use this in the summertime anyways. So... A nice cozy little home away from home in winter and in the summer there's lots of other camping to be done it's that great big tree I cut down yesterday pretty big for up here at least I dragged that up last night got a little dust in the snow it's windy and here's where I can process my wood so do the loop with the toboggan Look all there and keep that for starting fires. And then this just goes off the, uh, the tent frame so I can buck it all up, chuck it right in the door and pile it up and Bob's your uncle. Yeah, so another beautiful winter day here. Well guys, not much else to show you because the weather got absolutely ridiculous here. That's going to be really fun to ride back to town in. Just get the machine warmed up, load up the bogging. And I got a little bit of wood cut up for the next time I come out. I think I'll take my, uh, my cot with me. I don't trust human beings. Yeah, my tent just about blew away today, so I had to shore that up quite a bit more. Hopefully it holds. We'll see. If it doesn't, it wasn't meant to be, I guess. But, uh, yeah. Hopefully, I get all this on YouTube soon, and we'll see you folks soon from the Northwest Territories. Take care.